Okay, so I'm going to solve number one. And um, this is a problem of torque uh, in static equilibrium. So you have a meter stick. It's 100 centimeters long. There is a pivot right here. That's the fulcrum. And so that's the center of rotation. And now what we have to do is find out how much does this force going up, how much is that equal to, uh, so that it doesn't move, it balances it out, so there will be no rotation. So again, um, torque is a force that causes rotation because it is not uh, concentric to the center of gravity, uh, center of rotation. So it's missing it. So this, these are all of these forces will give it some rotation. We have to determine first in what direction. So this one going down, 200 newtons, relative to this will pull the the meter stick this way, and we call that looking at our guide here uh, clockwise. So we're going to write that clockwise. Okay, this is our guide. Clockwise follows the number one, two, three, four, five. Counterclockwise is going backwards. So uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, so that's counterclockwise. All right, so let's look at the next one, 300. In which direction is it going? This way. And that is counterclockwise. So you just have to label it so you'll know where it goes. And this one is going up, and the rotation is going to be like that. And that relative to this is clockwise. Look, when this goes to the other side, it's going to go this way. And that's clockwise, correct? So that's clockwise. OK, so reminder, our formula for torque is the fancy T. It is a, it is a vector times the radius and then times the force. That's how you get torque. So because it's an equilibrium, that means that the sum of all torques is equal to 0 which means um, clockwise equals counterclockwise. OK, so they have to balance. And so what we have to do is put first, which is our clockwise. Let's put that one. So using this formula, the distance is 20 centimeters. Right, that's the distance from the fulcrum or from the pivot, and the force is x because we don't know, and that's what we have to solve. Okay, and then uh, what? Oh, and then what else is clockwise? Plus, this is clockwise. So the distance is forty. Ay, ay, ay. Forty centimeters times two hundred newtons. And then equals, what is counterclockwise? This is the only one that's counterclockwise. The distance is 30 cm times 300 newtons. OK? OK, so how do you, again, this isn't a, uh, an equation. What we have to do is move this to the other side. I'm going to do it the long way. If you want to do it the short way, you're welcome to do it as long as you don't make a mistake. And then you have to do it on both sides. So if it's plus, the inverse operation is minus. And again, this is a good time to review uh, your knowledge of algebra. So that cancels. So what do we have? 20 cm times x is equal to, this is the positive one, 300 cm times 300 newtons minus 40 cm. Okay, so for those who are, it's just a matter of making it negative but moving it to the other side. And so there it is. Now, how do we get rid of this? We divide this by 20 cm. Both sides. And I'm actually doing it the proper way, which you might well learn, right? So that it looks nice. Okay, so now that's it. All you have to do is get the value, and I did compute this, and it is 50 
Now the question is, what is the unit? So cm and cm here cancel, and you're left with newtons, so it is newtons. And look, we're looking for newtons, so that's correct. I've done it twice. Check.